Okay, I've been praying about the two dreams. Um, if anybody else has anything else they think they may have to the dream or something, feel free to add, uh, comment, whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> the first dream about the gun, the only thing I was really getting back is like a custom weapon that only you can use. Now, I'm <clears throat> not saying, uh, how do I say it, assignments and a weapon are two different things. You know, everybody, sometimes some people specialize in certain weapons, like a sword, while others may specialize in, like, a nunchuck. The swordsman may not really know how to use a nunchuck at all. It's kind of like, they just whop the, hit their head with the nunchucks or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so as far as that, but assignments are different. I mean, if you go tell somebody, uh, like, okay, the king comes to you, it's like, Hey, princess is in this tower, go rescue her. You don't do anything. The king's going to say, Hey, I'm taking that assignment away from you and giving it to somebody else. While you may still have your weapon, your weapon's been pretty much really useless if you can't even go and rescue the princess and just, well lay around and all that um <clears throat> as for the second dream it did have some more of a meaning to me and that when my eyes were more focused on the squirrel even though i saw the wolf and it actually did have it in its teeth but it just kept on slipping out like it was like butter or something but it wasn't until I really focused on the wolves that then it um, was able to take it. And I think that what it was from that is, it's kind of like the squirrels, because I feed them and all that, is more of the people, you know. And if we focus, we should be focusing more on the people and not attacking the demons. I mean, yes, we gotta attack the demons, of course. But if all our focus is focusing on attacking the demons, then we forget about the people. And, yeah, we may have cast Satan away or something like that, but he may have taken somebody else with him. Um, so I think it's really important that when we are in spiritual battle, Remember, what is the main focus? It's not so much we got to destroy Satan, but the main focus is really the people. And I think that is really what the dream with the wolves is really symbolizing is sometimes we get so focused on we got to attack the enemy, got to attack the enemy that we're really forgetting about the people. And that's really the ground, or how to say, it, that's really where the battle is. I mean, yeah, fine, Satan went away, but how many souls did he drag with him? Um, but as long as we keep our eyes focused on the people, even though Satan may attack the people, they're still okay, you know? And Satan's always going to try to attack and try to steal and try to devour. But we just got to focus more on the people, I think, than attacking Satan. And that sounds somewhat strange but really what is Satan going after he's going after the people so I think that's really where it's focusing on is focus more on the people because that's the land where Satan wants to try to get if we can encourage the people and strengthen them and focus on them instead of focusing on him then his battle is lost. He can't grab him. He can't, even though he tries to attack him, he just can't get through. So, alright. Uh, amen. Bye.